It's inspirational. Sensational. Educational fun with Ahmed and Suhaila on Guide Us TV. All you Muslim families, come and gather around. It's the Puppet Fun Show. We're gonna have some fun learning about Islam on the Puppet Fun Show. Starring Ahmed and Suhaila And some other puppets for your entertainment We've got Little Shake, the Muslim Kids And Brother Mustaqim The show is starting now, stay right where you are It's the Puppet Fun Show The Puppet Fun Show. Yeah, the Puppet Fun Show. Because fun is our middle name. <laughs> <laughs> well, folks, we got a nice show for you tonight. This is our first show. Yeah, alhamdulillah, we got a deal. Yeah, we got a deal with this Guide Us TV, mashallah. Alhamdulillah, we're back. On the air! Yeah, we had a YouTube video a long time ago. And we got, you know, like 50 zillion hits. Uh, Ahmed, you're exaggerating! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am exaggerating a little bit. So, should we tell them who's on this show? Yeah, we got a lot of puppets on this show. And... They're going to really do a good job teaching you Islam, inshallah. But remember, I'm not a puppet, of course. What? I'm not a puppet. <laughs> you are a puppet, Ahmed. Well, I seem to be talking for myself. <laughs> you know the brother looks the king was behind the curtain, and he's talking for you. He is? Hmm, I didn't know that. Well, you learn something new every day. <laughs> so, we got songs, we got jokes. Jokes? Yeah. Got some awesome jokes. You know one. Yeah. Knock, knock. Who's there? Lesky. Lesky who? Let's get on with the show. <laughs> well... First, I gotta tell my joke to Hayla. Okay, go on. As long as it's not a pig joke. Uh, that's the one I planned on telling. Okay, Ahmed, go on. Quickly, quickly. We gotta go. Okay, where does a pig park his car? I don't know. Where does a pig park his car? In the parking lot. <laughs> well, yeah, that was a little funny, but it is kind of haram to talk about pigs, Ahmed. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Well, we don't want to offend anyone here, so let's get on with the show. It's story time with Ahmed and Suhaila. Story time, and trust me, it's not a boring time. Cause Ahmed and Suhaila's story time is fun for you and me. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. What's your name? Omar. And what's your name? Hassan. Hassan. Nice to meet you guys. Welcome to story time. My name is Ahmed, and I'm going to tell the story this week. Next week, inshallah, Suhaila will tell it. So, you guys ready? Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Okay. One morning, I really, really, really couldn't wake up for Fajr. 
My dad calls me a Don sometimes. And this time, I didn't hear him. But guess what woke me up? Do you know? Do you know? A rooster. You're right. What sound does a rooster make? Cock a doo doo. Cock a doo doo. That rooster woke me up that morning, man. Unbelievable. I had just enough time to go make Udu and make Sanato Fanja. Now, the most amazing thing happened after Sanat when I went down to breakfast. Guess what? At breakfast time, my mom made my favorite, favorite, most favorite, favorite breakfast. Guess what that is? It begins with a P. Pa Pancakes. Pancakes with st stra 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 strawberry strawberries with whip 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 cream whip cream on top, boy. Yeah, I was so so happy that morning, and I took my fork and I. Dug into those pancakes with those strawberries and that whipped cream. And I was just about to lift my fork to my mouth. And all of a sudden, my hand froze up. It was so crazy. <laughs> I couldn't put the pancakes and strawberries and whipped cream in my mouth. Can you believe that? <laughs> Was that amazing? <laughs> Do you know why? Why? Because I didn't say the special word. Bismillah. You got it. Bismillah. So, when I figured it out, I said, Bismillah. And, whoo, it went right in my mouth. <laughs> I enjoyed those pancakes with the strawberries and the whipped cream. And then I said, Alhamdulillah, I'm never ever gonna forget to say Bismillah again. Or Alhamdulillah. Or Alhamdulillah. So kids, remember, always say Bismillah and Alhamdulillah. You got it. And you can enjoy your food that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave you. Sorry. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Today we are gonna uh, we're gonna read more Quran stories for kids. The story is called The Most Patient Man. And the author is Sanya Snain Khan. Prophet the Prophet Ayyub Salam or Job, a great prophet who lived in the 9th century BC in Haran near Damascus in Syria, set great examples for mankind. Besides having great wisdom and compassion, Ayyub Salam was also a very rich man. He had huge herds of cattle, vast fields, a large family, and many friends. Yet he remained an extremely steadfast and sincere servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and was forever calling up upon others to worship him. But Shaitan made people think that it was only because Ayyub was wealthy that he lived a good life and that if his blessings were taken away, he would no longer be grateful to Allah. To put him to the test, Allah struck him with a series of calamities. His cattle and crops were destroyed, his children died, and worst of all, beca he became very ill, remaining bedridden for many years. Within a very short period of time, Ayyub became very poor and his friends left him one by one. But Ayyub was not angry. He put his entire trust in Allah, being confident that Allah knew best about everything. Prophet Ayyub said, I am overcome by distress, but you are the most merciful of all those that are merciful.
when his suffering and loneliness worsened, and his sickness and pain became unbearable, Ayyub salam turned to Allah in humble prayer in humble prayer, crying, I am overcome by distress, but you are the most merciful of all those that are merciful. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala heard this beautiful prayer and put an end to his long and terrible hardship. He ordered Ayyub alayhi salam to strike the ground with his feet. He did as commanded, and by a miracle a spring of fresh water gushed forth. No sooner did Ayyub salam take a bath in it, than his illness was cured and he regained his former health and strength. Because Ayyub salam showed great patience throughout the worst of disasters, Allah not only rewarded him with the great bounty in the hereafter, but redoubled his former prosperity in this world. He had a new family of seven sons and three daughters. He lived to the ripe old age of, of 93 and saw four generations. He became so rich that it was said, that he w he was rained upon with locusts of gold. The end. Story time is fun for you and me. Hi, my name is Hassan, and I'm Mr. Anderson, and I'm a Muslim, and I'm a Christian. But we are very good neighbors to each other. Yes, that's right. Hassan always helps me take out my trash. Yeah. And you know what? Hassan is really, really, really changing my mind about Muslims. Uh, that's Muslim. Oh, Muslim? No. M-U-S-L-I-M. Oh, Muslim. Oh boy, we'll have to work on that one, Mr. Anderson. Well, we're going to be on the Puppet Fun Show, and I'm going to be giving him Dawa, inshallah. Dawa? What's that? Sounds like some kind of disease. <laughs> no, it's not. It's actually giving you the correct information about Islam. Oh, okay, no problem. I'm looking forward to it. Inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Bye-bye. The Puppet Fun Show. The Puppet Fun Show. Okay, what we got? What do you mean, what we got? What's next? You know. I don't know. <laughs> you forgot? You don't remember? No, I don't remember. Oh boy, this guy has a song named Remembrance, and he doesn't even remember! <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. I got a song called Remembrance, because Remembrance of Allah is the greatest thing in life. <laughs>
Hey Muslim, do you know about Zikr? That's remembrance of Allah. In good days and in difficult days, say these words. Subhanallah, walhamdulillah, wala ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar. Subhanallah, walhamdulillah, wala ilaha illallah. about Souther, patience. Okay, patience, so you learned about patience. Well, can you give us an example of the benefit of patience? Sure. Well, I remember one time, my mom was cooking my favorite dessert. What's your favorite dessert? Chocolate chip brownies with whipped cream on top. Ooh, sounds yummy. And this is what happened. You know, I have a twin sister. Her name is Suhaila. And so, you know, I was sitting at the table for a long time, and my mom's cooking the brownies, and I'm saying, Mom, are the brownies ready? Come on, come on. I'm hungry. I want my brownies with whipped cream on top. And meanwhile, my sister Suhaila is just sitting there. <laughs> Just being patient while I was being impatient. <laughs> mommy, ma, mommy, ma, are the brownies ready yet? And guess what happened? When the brownies got done, my mom gave my sister, Sohaila, three brownies and only one to me. <sighs> She had Souther. Even when you get big, patience, Souther is a very, very useful thing to practice. It's a very good deed. Masha Allah, you're right, you're right, absolutely. So, what do you think? Should we wake your sister now? Uh, no, I like all the tension. Come on, come on. Well, you know, you can't have all the attention, man. You gotta share it with Suhaila. Okay. Okay, so listen, on three, everybody say, wake up, Suhaila. Ready? One, two, three. Wake, wake up, up Suhaila. Okay, okay, okay. Twin, twin sister, 
All right, stop bragging. Yeah, and so, you know, I really am glad to be here at Hollyville Masjid, mashallah. I go to Sunday school here, too. It's very good. I love my teachers. Okay, okay, okay. We get it. Ahmed, you should let me talk. Now, listen, um, we're going to sing a few songs to you guys, and we're going to go bye-bye, because I'm still a little tired. You're always tired. Okay, well, listen, what song are you going to sing? Who's going to choose? Well, I think that we should sing the Be a Good Muslim song. Because it talks about being patient and all that good stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. Mm. Be a good Muslim. Pray to Allah. Be a good Muslim. Try to be patient. Be a good Muslim. Learn Quran. Be a good Muslim. Learn our prophet soon. Be a good Muslim. Allah is watching. We must do good deeds. Be a good Muslim. Takbir! Good job, guys. Okay, so now we're going to go to a break. Thank you for watching us, and we'll be back some other time. And remember, get guided with Guide Us TV. On the road with Guide Us TV. Next, we got this guy called Little Shift. Yeah, Little Shift. He's very smart. Even though he's little. He knows a lot about Islam. Pay attention. Little Sheikh, he works very hard, so one day he can be a big Sheikh. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Little Sheikh. Today we will talk about the shortest surah in Quran. It is called Surah al kawthar It only has three ayats, three verses, three lines in it. So you may wonder, why did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala send this surah to our Prophet? There was something bothering our prophet at this time in his life. His baby son had died while being born. And the prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, was feeling very bad about this. Also, there were bad men that were making fun of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam because he only had daughters and no sons. They called him a bad name, Abdar. This Arabic word means to be incomplete because an Abdar is an animal without a tail. So they were saying that the prophet was after because he had no sons to carry his name. Anyhow, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam this surah to make him feel better. In the first ayat, he says, To you we have granted the fountain of abundance. 
Alcauthar is a river that runs from the Janna. Whosoever drinks from this river will never be thirsty again. Also, Kauthar means great blessing. There were many blessings Allah gave to our Prophet. He had four beautiful daughters. Also, being the Prophet of Allah, so many people loved him very, very much for bringing them the message of Quran and wisdom. Ayah number two. Therefore, to your Lord turn in prayer and sacrifice. Allah is saying to our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to pray and sacrifice. Don't forget about Salat. Don't forget to make dua. And never ever give up. Allah is saying keep going in life even if times are hard. People may be mean to you. They may call you bad names. But remember the blessings I have given you and the blessings I will give you in the future. And after that, Allah ends the surah with this ayah. For it is your insulter and not you who will be cut off from future hope. It is your insulter, meaning the people who called him the bad name. They will not get blessings. They will be punished for their bad deeds. To this day, millions of people love Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We hear his name in the Adhan five times a day. Ashadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. We say his name in Salat, and after every time we say his name, we say what? Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. May peace and blessings from Allah be upon you, O Prophet. Do we remember the bad people that called him bad names? No. They are forgotten. They are the ones who are after. Now kids, the lesson we have learned from this short but very important surah is this. If kids bother you or call you bad names, if somebody tries to make you feel bad about yourself, don't listen to them. Remember, you are very blessed. You are Muslim. And Allah loves you for that. And one day, inshallah, you will get to drink from the water of al kawthar and never be thirsty again. Whoever bothers you will be punished sooner or later. This is Little Sheikh with e -tarbia. May Allah guide you and bless you all. Assalamu alaikum. Little Sheikh, he works very hard. So one day he can be a big sheikh. 
Well, that's it for our show. Yeah, that's it. Hope you guys liked it. Hope you learned something. And we hope you come back for our second episode of The Puppet Fun Show. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. The Puppet Fun Show.